Ain't about me, child. This about you. Crazy life and death for us. What you finna do? What are you? What the world won't let me be. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love P-Valley, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about P-Valley Season 2, Episode 7. This is the final predictions. So down below, I want you guys to let me know exactly what you think is going to happen in this latest episode of P-Valley, y'all. The wait is finally over. It is time to get back into it, and it is time to finally and hopefully be smoking on that Dara pack. Now the title of the episode is called Jackson and the description of the episode reads, Uncle Clifford wrestles with her future while opening a door to the past. Meanwhile, Mercedes struggles with the complexities of motherhood. So there you have it. Those are the key elements of this next upcoming episode. I cannot wait to see um, episode seven, y'all. I think it's going to continue to get better based on what we saw so far from P-Valley season two. So we're going to go over those promotional pictures first and then after that we're going to go over the trailer one last time to give those final predictions for episode seven now in this picture right here we can see Derek I told you guys I am tired of seeing his face and it seems like he's going to be letting Keyshawn get out get some air and whatever y'all know how Derek is he thinks he controls everything and you know nothing can happen to him right now in this picture right here we see Autumn Knight She's going to approach Keyshawn. She's going to see those bruises on her face. And she's going to be pissed off. And I'm pretty sure Autumn's going to tell her, like, look, didn't I give you that strap, you know, last season? What happened? You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't do what you needed to do with that strap. Instead, you pulled it out on Diamond instead of the person you probably should have pulled it out on and finished off. And we know Keyshawn is definitely regretting that. So last season, Autumn Knight did that for her. This season, will Autumn Knight help her? I think Autumn will give her some advice and tell her what she needs to do. But let's just be honest. When it comes to Derek, Keyshawn is going to have to be the person that actually finishes him off. Or Derek, unfortunately, is going to finish her off. But Keyshawn, she's going to have to be the person that steps up to the plate and gets him up out of here. But you know, it is good that somebody is seeing what's going on and hopefully Autumn can actually help this girl out. Now, we see Keyshawn with the baby looking very concerned. I hope Derek ain't doing nothing else stupid, but when we're talking about Derek, you already know what time it is. Now, in this picture right here, we can see Terrica and Mercedes. And based on what we saw in the trailer, I got a feeling Mercedes is going to try to tell Terrica what she believes needs to happen as far as the whole baby thing. So expect to see that in this next upcoming episode. We know Mercedes does not want Terrica to make the same mistakes that she has made. And as of right now, that's what she's done by going out there and getting pregnant. Is doing pretty much what her mom has done. And Mercedes knows that this is going to be a struggle and she is trying to help her out. Now, in this picture right here, we can see Grandma Ernestine in Little Murder. Of course, the exclusive clip came out the other day. I posted it up for you guys. If you didn't see it, check it out. Now, man, I hope grandma can pull through, y'all. It ain't looking too good for her. She's going to be struggling with this whole COVID thing. And if she does not make it, Uncle Cliff probably is not going to know what to do. And I hope that does not happen. But we know Little Murder will be there to help around with Grandma Ernestine. Now, let's go over this trailer one last time to get those final predictions for episode seven in the trailer, we can hear Autumn Knight telling Uncle Cliff, I will get you what you deserve. We know Autumn Knight is getting close to selling the club and she's close to getting way more money than Corbin offered her. Right. And that's because she had that conversation in last week's episode um, with that promised land executive. So Autumn Knight is definitely about to get that money. Uncle Cliff is saying like, look, I can build me another club, but I cannot get another Pink, we know this club has history and the history for Uncle Cliff goes back to Grandma Ernestine, right? So this club, it's more than just the club. You know what I'm saying? So whatever Idle Knight is going to do, it's going to affect everything. And seeing that Uncle Cliff will be going through certain things with Grandma Ernestine and her health and the whole COVID thing, 
it's going to be tough. So expect to see a tough and emotional episode from Uncle Cliff. And also, as I told you guys, that sheriff and Otto Knight, he going to keep, you know, tagging along, trying to get information. And I believe eventually he is probably going to find out who she really is because we know she is not no damn Lakeisha Savage. We know her real name is Haley. And, you know, she's buying property with another name. What you think is going to happen when that information comes out? Some of you guys say Adam Knight is going to be able to get away with it. Well, we're going to find out very, very soon. And also, this whole spirit of Montavious, oh, that's not over yet. It is not over yet. Eventually, it's going to come back. Well, it's still there, but eventually it's going to blow up and everybody's going to be affected, especially the people that was involved with Murder Night. Now, my final predictions for Mercedes and her daughter, Terika, is this. It's going to be tough, y'all. It's going to be real, real tough because as I told you guys earlier, Mercedes is trying to prevent Terika from going through what she went through when she was her age. And to see Terika pregnant, I know that's going to be hitting home to Mercedes. And she's going to be like, man, I got to help her out. I got to, you know, figure out a way to prevent this. Now, that's just my opinion. Now, in the trailer, your girl Terika is definitely showing. You can tell that she's pregnant from what we've seen in these pictures or whatever. And like I said, it's looking real tough for your girl Mercedes and her daughter Terika. And also what I did notice, and I told you guys in the What to Expect video, I believe we will be seeing some type of, you know, back story, even if it's small, um, from Mercedes. Now, I don't believe it's going to be like a, a big back story from her, but we most likely are going to see like a flashback of young Mercedes and what she went through. And it seems like Mercedes is going to be ter telling Terrica, like, look, this is what I went through and I don't want you going through the same thing. We have to prevent this child from coming. But that's just what I'm thinking. And Terrica may, you know, say, no, I want to keep the baby. We know Terrica was scared um, in the last episode. So at the end of the day, we know she's going to have to make that decision and, Will Mercedes go to her mom, Patrice? Will we finally see Mercedes and Patrice have that conversation face to face? And will they talk about what happened last season? I think that it needs to happen. You know what I'm saying? We need to see them have that conversation. And if they're going to be showing us a backstory, you already know Patrice is going to be in it. Just like she was in Keyshawn's backstory. Now, Little Murder will be kicking it with Uncle Cliff. And my final predictions for this whole storyline is... Little Murder will be dealing with the whole aftermath of what happened to Big Teak. It's going to be a struggle for him, right? Now, being around Uncle Cliff is going to help him get through it. We know Little Murder will be helping around with Grandma Ernestine. The thing is, they're going to start talking about their relationship. And, you know, Little Murder is talking about how he wants to be what the world won't allow him to be. So this is, you know, what we've been talking about. If Little Murder was to come out, would this actually help his music career or would it make it worse? And this is what Wody, you know, Wody fears. He believes that something like this could damage his, you know, character and it can mess things up. When it's all said and done, Little Murder is going to have to make that decision on what he really wants to do. But it's quite obvious he loves Uncle Cliff and he has to come out and just tell his truth in order to feel, you know, better as a person. And if he doesn't, he will continue to struggle mentally on not really living out his truth. Now, also in the trailer, we can see something going on with the grandma Ernestine. We see Uncle Cliff. We see Little Murder. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, this whole COVID thing, it's going to be breaking down grandma Ernestine. It's not going to be pretty. Um, we already talked about the whole fan theory about her getting COVID from Toy. We knew this was going to happen. But the thing is, hopefully she's able to beat it. We don't want to say goodbye to Grandma Ernestine, but based on what we've been seeing with these foreshadows, um, it seems like that just may be the case. But hopefully this time around, that's not the case and Grandma is able to survive, but I don't have the best feelings about this. Now, my final predictions for Diamond and Big Bone, we didn't really see any of them in the trailer like that at all. Now, I believe we're going to get more intel on who Big Bone really is. We talked about her. We talked about the fan theory of, you know, Big Bone and Montavious connection. Is there a connection? Is she connected to the whole Delta Devoted? And if she is, it ain't going to be looking too good for everybody that's involved, especially Diamond, seeing that 
she is close to him and he probably wouldn't even see it coming but hopefully he keeps his eyes open and he can peep game but y'all let me know what y'all think about that now my final predictions for Keyshawn this episode for Keyshawn will be you know a telling episode we know Derek is going to let her out we talked about that um going over those pictures Adam Knight is going to see those bruises on her face and this will continue to get worse Keyshawn as I told you last season got this strap from Adam Knight she didn't use it on Derek no she pointed it at Diamond and she screwed up right this season Adam Knight is back once again to give Keyshawn some help in my opinion the question is will Keyshawn actually use that knowledge or whatever type of help Adam's going to give her or will she go her own route as I told you if she continues to do what she's been doing she might as well kiss herself goodbye because she's not going to last it's pretty much over for Keyshawn and I hope that is not the case we need to be smoking on that Derek pack I am tired of seeing him each and every week um doing what he does to Keyshawn like really he needs to go somebody needs to get him up out of here right now you guys let me know what do y'all think is going to happen in episode seven of P Valley season two I already know that wait was a little bit long for a lot of you guys but we are back and I cannot wait to see it now I will be dropping the quick thoughts early impressions video later on in the night so stay tuned especially if you're going to be up late and I will be dropping the full recap later on in the day tomorrow so be on the lookout for that as well but thank you guys for all the love all the support and i will catch y'all on the next one but let me get up on out of here man it's your boy mark dart i'm out peace